Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in here in Out of the Park Baseball 20 San Diego Padres franchise mode. Our series is called the Dest or the the Dynasty, but we are currently one and one starting the season 2019, March 30th. So we just take a look at our goals real fast. Don't completely suck. So we're one and one. It's not too bad. Upgrade a catcher. That's green. He's having a good year so far. I mean seven at bats, not much. And keep building your team in order to reach the playoffs by 2023. Completely doable. What we are going to do, take a look at the trading block. They have Jose Iglesias, Madison Bumgarner, Micah, Michael Pineda, and Alex Colome. If you look, there's nobody really good. I mean, we can get him for a bullpen. But again, he's a free agent after the season. So if we're building for the future... Not necessarily worth signing now or making a trade for now. Like you said, he's a free agent after this year. Uh, Jose Iglesias, free agent after 2019. And Pineda, free agent after 2019. So probably not the best choices to go after right now. Maybe if we're in uh, contention mid-season, that's when we go out and make a, uh, make a trade. But if you take a look, let's go to our organization, uh, manager's office, or uh, GM actions. I want to look at the finances a little bit. Let's just do team home screen. Uh, front office, take a look at finances. As you see, we raised the prices of 23. I think probably going to change it a little more. Let's go up to like 20, let's go $30 per ticket. I knew we changed that last episode, but we are trying to actually get some money here. Yeah, total merchandising. As you can see, we have zero or negative six million dollars available, which is not good at all. So we definitely have to increase our cash flow somehow. Not sure what else we could do besides that. I mean, we can cut some staff. But we're going to end up having to pay them in the end. So let's just rock with that for now. We'll see what that $30 does. And uh, let's do accounting real fast. Yeah, as you see, can't do much. Gotta, we have to wait until some of these bigger guys go off, go on free agency like him. That will save us 2.3 mil. Ian Kinsler, 3.8. That's after 2020 couple guys are eligible for arbitration so we'll see when that time comes we'll, what we want to do exactly with that but yeah that's that's that we are going to start simulating uh, I think we're gonna do two weeks at a time so let's take a look let's just go April 15th halfway through the month and let's do factor 1000 and let's hit uh, start real time simulation. So that's going to fast forward through all this. Let's see, take a look, see if our games. Where is San Diego? San Diego doesn't play. Oh, there we are. Playing the Giants at 540 in Petco Stadium. We got. Eric Laura on the mound for us. So let's that game starts at five. Let's see if we can. You go factor a thousand. Okay, that's a lot faster there for us. So we still should be oh, farther up because the game didn't start quite yet. Oh, we can actually auto play. Let's just auto play until next week. Save a couple personal messages. All right. Uh, Alex Wood, throw a shutout, decrease his salary in the offer. Okay, so let's try to increase him. I mean, he needs to, uh, currently do not have, I believe he was, yeah, okay. Uh, let's just do that, submit offer. Alright, let's go back to manager's office. 
observes Michael Pineda. His ability is rated 2.5 stars. Power pitcher, 6'7, six, 6'3 six, uh, pit plus. Three plus pitches, including a swing and miss, change of great slider, cutter, and a good with a good life. Doesn't have overwhelming, overpowering stuff, but with good control. We're two and one, so let's uh, let's continue. Let's actually, uh, let's do from your league. I don't want to do personal. Um. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Not mess around with that too much. Let's actually get rid of BNN. Yeah. That and that. We don't need all that junk filling up our our uh, our inbox. So yeah, we're two and one. Let's get rid of autoplay until next week. See where we stand after what is April 1st. Arizona, we got. Okay, there's the players watch. Mackenzie Gore. His current ability is 0.5. Potential three stars. Tenth best prospect. Batting leaders. There they are. Weekly team. Uh, with power rankings, we are currently sitting at 17th. So yeah, let's auto play until next week. Why does it do that? Let's. Turn that off because we don't need don't need it to turn off after every every time we get it a, a thing okay so we have a new we signed him to a contract Yoshimo Pettit out for season season torn labrium start real-time simulation out of play till next week hopefully this goes more than a day which would be nice we're currently sitting at two and four, three and four. Only a game back, so not terrible. We'll see where we are. Evaluate at the end of the month. Awesome. First time, first game saved. Kirby Yates. Awesome. Is diagnosed with torn ligament to be out for eleven months. That is not good. So let's go to the manager's office. Take a look. Yeah, gonna... injury diagnosis, ulnar collateral ligament who will undergo Tommy John, done for season, trade proposal from Toronto, Toronto Blue Jays would send minor league Justin Mays to the Padres for Luis Pitino. Uh, so let's, let's take a look at that. First, let's put him on place on an injured list. 60 day IR. Take a look at our roster real fast. Might have to call somebody up. Uh, rosters 24. Put him on the disabled list so we can bring up somebody else. What was he? Starting pitching? Started pitcher too? Yeah. So let's bring up. Mm, I don't know if it's too early to bring up Chris Paddock, but we're going to do it anyways. Bring him up. Plug him into the rotation. Pitching staff. Uh, where is he at? There he is. We're going to plug him into the starting rotation. Actually going to move him around so he doesn't put him at the three starter, I think. That way he comes back. Robbie Aaron comes back. No, I don't know. Let's put put him there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that works. And let's go take a look at this trade that we got. Manager's office news. 
All right, so trade proposal. 22-year-old minor leaguer, Justin Mize. So right now he's one and a half with potential to be two and a half. He's 22, almost 23. Not 20, almost halfway. 22 and a half years old. Wasn't sure what I was going to say there. But look at his stuff previous seasons. His war seems pretty good. Plus war. I mean, Ks, they're there. 60 Ks, 70 innings. ERA. Last 2017, he had a rough 2017. 2016, he was good. In 2015, he was really good. Let's take a look who we're going to be giving up. Uh, Luis Patino. He's currently in rookie league for us, 6 and 1. Currently half star potential, three star rating. Not sure if I want to do this. Strictly bullpen, future starter. I mean, if you look at that number, it's 83 innings. Yeah. I'm going to say no unless they're willing to give up a. Give us some more cap space. Because we, we definitely need money here. Uh, Toronto are, is definitely win now, so we could send them over. We could possibly send over Craig Steinman. And then we could get, we need a bullpen pitcher. Try to get Bo Pichette. That'd be awesome, but I don't think that's going to happen. Eric... Pardain Hall. And let's get one more prospect. Let's push our luck a little bit here. We'll just get some. And then we let's get a catcher. Uh, Riley Johnson. Oh, no, that's... Definitely need a lot more. Let's send over. Um, that's our active roster. Let's go to prospects. Mm. Radzuka. See what they want. Um, oh yeah, not getting any of that. What about just for my? Remove, remove, yeah, all right, never mind. We're just gonna decline the trade. Now, wasn't a big fan of it. I mean, the third player is a little more, he was a little more, uh, reject trade, a little more mature, but in the end, we had some young talent. That's what we're going for right now. Auto play until next week. So let's see where we stand. We got a sweep, first sweep of the season. Uh, who are we going up against next? The Giants. We got Bumgarner, Derek Rodriguez, and Suarez. Career pitching leaders, that's fine. Weekly power rankings. We have, where are we at? Where are we at? We moved up to eighth. So I like to see six and four auto play until next week. You see home runs, Machado's up there. Hunter Redfro out three weeks. Uh, let's put him on three weeks. Uh, injured list. Let's do. Do 10 day DL. We'll bring up a left fielder, take a spot. He's tearing it up. We might bring him up. We might bring him up at some point. How's our. Th How are they performing? He's good, and Garcia. Yeah, let's see if we could trade Garcia actually.
We'll bring up Jankowski for now. But who are we going to trade? Garcia? Trade away player. Actually. Shot player around. See what we can get from him. Open to anything. As long as it improves our... Our budget? I'm all game. Or gives us some young prospects. I'm all, all for it right now. Alright, so let's see what we can get. Mm. Not sure what his contract he's got left. Under to 10,000. Left for the season. Um, 23. Nothing's really standing out to me right now. Uh, we could just trade away for John Means. Yeah. Say we just do it. John Means. It's going to improve our money by 800000 All for it. It's perfect. Take a look at our roster. I will come back to that in a sec just to see how our team's doing. Let's actually go check out our mail. Martinez injury list. Okay, that's big. Playing Arizona next. See their pitchers. Season done for Granky. Awesome. Not awesome that he's done for, but take a look at our or no, not uh, lineups. There we go. We're gonna have to put. Jen Kalinski. Wow. Oh, that's for their pitch. Never mind. Uh, Manuel Wargo, Ian Kinsler. Will Myers. Think I'm gonna. Ooh, it's tempting to trade him away. Mmm. Very, very tempting right now. Let's see what we get from him. Because if we can get a starting pitching, because if you look. Take a look at our team home screen. Run scored were fourth. 56. Batting average six. On base ninth. Home runs 20th. So we're not doing bad. Pitching. Definitely need help. Bullpen and starting lineup. So let's just go back. See what we just get from. Uh, who was that we were thinking about? Okay. Luis Arias. Shop player around. See what we can get from. That way we can bring up Fernando. So let's see. Looks like we can get a decent amount for him. Maybe we could package him in with somebody else. Get a solid, solid starting pitcher. A lot of players here that they're offering. Um, see who has the most potential. What is his, uh, what's his contract like? Okay. He's tearing it up right now, but let's take a look. Actually, let's go with pitchers. See if we get some good young pitchers into our, our system. Caleb Ferguson, Dakota Hudson, he's out though, gotta be three stars or better, ooh, Tanner Scott from the Orioles, yeah, 4.5 ERA, not feeling it, Adam Simber, yeah, I don't like any of these offers, He's 26. Don't really want to do that. Caleb Ferguson. That would be solid. But I don't think we could do that quite yet. Ooh. Ooh. That's tempting. We could throw him in a bullpen. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We're not gonna do it. We're just gonna autoplay it till next week. We're in first place on the division, which is great. Another trade proposal. 
Uh, let's see what it is. Twins would send 23-year-old minor leaguer Jorge. Take a look at him. Uh, current slash potential. It's not terrible. I mean, yeah, it's not looking terrible. Who are we giving up? Third baseman. Pretty stacked at that. Let's, let's discuss this trade a little bit. Let's try to get one more prospect in there. Uh, let's go with him. Just throw him in there. Submit offer. Auto play till next week. Still first in our division, nine and seven. Manager office. Take a look at our news. See if there's anything new happening here. Okay, that was accepted, so that's good. Polanco's not coming back. Power rankings. We were 8th last week, 8th again, which is good. Let's uh, autoplay until next week. At the end of the month, I say in May, we'll see how everybody's doing. Bring up Fernando. Yeah, we're 11 and 9, 11 and 10, tied for first, 12. Oh no. Okay, that's not looking good. So we'll take a look at the power rankings again. We were 8th, we dropped all the way down to 21st. This is not good for us, not good. Keiko went to the Brewers. Tista, okay, that's not good. Um, let's take a look at team. Starting to slack on the pitching front. Mm. So he's out for two more weeks for Mackenzie Gore. Not off to a hot start. Let's promote him to high A so we get some more work in. Chris Paddock's not terrible. 4.12 ERA. Can mm. anybody up from the bullpen playlist? That playlist. Pitching staff. Yeah, Kirby Yates is doing his thing. Yeah, he's going to get better over time. Yeah, not terrible. Bullpen's not terrible. Nothing's really terrible in all honesty. It's just a couple of guys who has inflated ERAs since it's earlier in the season. Take a look at our uh, lineup, how everybody's doing. Machado batting 253 with eight homers. Hosmer, six home runs, batting 300. Austin Hedges, mm. I think we'll do it. I think we're gonna switch him out. Francisco Mejia. Uh, where is he? There he is. And then we'll put Austin Hedges at utility one every sixth start. Fifth start, keep him fresh. Now we just need to upgrade a couple more things, and I think we're solid. Kinsler, 232. Man, Manuel Margot, 215. Could upgrade all that at some point. Let's just finish up. We'll simulate to the end of the month, and then we will end the episode there. Miguel Diaz, eligible, come off DL. Rehab, let's rehab him, 20 days. I'll play the next week. Uh, who is this, Brad Ryak? Uh, injury list, 
Where is he at? Minor leagues. Is he in AAA? There he is. So we'll put him. We'll bring him up. Uh, Rastas, there we go. That's looking good. So it's auto play. Right now we are sitting in second place, two games back from the Dodgers. 14 and 14. Two games back. Let's just take a look. See what see what mail we got. See what's going on here. Uh what did I see? Hunter Renfro. Still suffering from elbow inflammation. The less he plays. He's out. That's fine. Mm, I think that's it. I think I saw one more, but I guess not. Take a look at the rookie batting leaders. Mm, they don't have anybody. Weekly power rankings. Where are we sitting? We are in 22nd last week. We have jumped up to 16th. Which is pretty good. Think we're gonna do it. We are going to pull the trigger and we are going to bring up Fernando. If he's if he's healthy, we're gonna bring him up. Ah, okay. Next episode, we're gonna simulate a week. And then we're gonna bring up Fernando. He's batting 281, three home runs on the season. We're gonna bring him up. Mackenzie Gore. Not sure what we're gonna do with him. But we're gonna bring up some of these younger guys, get them going to the major leagues, and hopefully get this team on the right track and ready to make the playoffs. Until then, I will see you later.